Greetings, Earthlings. I am able to show you my true self. Due to popular demand for commentary, I am broadcasting to you from near Earth orbit, Gnome. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and start a new game on No Man's Sky. This is uh, the first initialization video. So uh, what you're going to do is just go ahead and click New Game. Then we're going to go ahead and select Normal. Alright. I haven't played this game in quite a while, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. Initializing. That was a pretty quick load sequence. Alright, I wonder what kind of planet we're gonna be on. Yeah, it looks like we're on a toxic planet. 12.1 degrees Celsius. Looks like this planet's called N Die. Alright. See these uh, red plants there, it's full of carbon. See a little bit of ferrite dust out there on the horizon. Probably going to need to gather some of that up pretty quickly. I'm really liking the graphics on this uh, new Xbox. Right, there's contact. Bandai 53. B3. Alright, scanner's damage. We need to collect some ferrite dust. Look around here, that's uh, cytoplasm. Don't need that yet. Some kind of little alien animal. Here's some ferrite dust. I think we only need 75 here to get started. To repair the scanner. My toxic protection is very low. Gonna need to find some sodium. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Alright. We'll go ahead and go here. The scanner with some ferrite dust. Alright, scanner repaired. Now I gotta look for some sodium. And if you don't do this quickly, uh, you will be terminated here by the natural elements on the planet. There's some sodium. So the symbol is NA, and you can tell by the yellow diamond. there. It's a little farther. You just kind of got to get to it and hold X. Alright, let's go ahead and repair this hazard protection. Sodium, 13 parts, gets you 58%. Hydrogen is uh, used as a fuel. Always good to have some of that on hand. Let's go to this distress beacon. Hopefully I can find my ship somewhere nearby. So I can get out of the elements. Let me just change my view to third person. It's just a little easier in my opinion to navigate. In third person. We're only uh, 322 U's away from our destination. Jetpack. It uh, tends to pick up your pace a little bit instead of having to run the whole way. This 
some oxygen over here. I'll just go ahead and gather that up. In my opinion, oxygen is probably one of the most used elements in this game. Alright, let's check out this distress beacon. Boundary separation failure likely. Let's broadcast the signal. Let's travel an anomaly detected. Okay. Anomaly is complacent. Position log. Our crash ship. Up in here. Get out of the elements of the planet. Connected to the Atlas. Uh, the launch thrusters are offline. The pulse engines offline. Alright, I find myself alone on the strange world. Unequipped in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. But the ship at least seems to be recognizing me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. The pilot should perform maintenance, select desired repair path. Self-drive repair protocols initiated. Message. Right, we need a hematic seal and we need a one metal plate to uh, repair it. The pulse engine. Alright. Let's go ahead and collect some thermal dust to start that repair. Might as well take out this hazardous plant. Gives us a little bit of oxygen. Ferrite dust could be located in basically any of the rock looking items you see. A little bit of carbon never hurts. Okay, some ferrite dust right here. Looks like I need to collect 50 uh, for this repair. Craft a one metal plating. Alright, I got my 50, but let me get a little bit extra here. Mosey back on over by the ship. Hang out inside, let my hazard protection charge up. You go to your inventory, craft one metal plating, then you repair the pulse engine, like so. The only thing required to complete the repair is a hermetic seal. Let's see what the auto diagnostics tells me. Okay, the ship's chemically damaged, great. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. Alright, there's one nearby. Uh, we have to get the planetary chart from the distress beacon, which is uh, that thing straight ahead there. Let's go ahead and check out a couple other things and see if there's any goodies. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a hermetic seal or something. I got some nanites. Okay. Oh, dihydrogen jelly. I got one of those. That's that's good to have. I'm gonna need that to repair the launch thrusters here in a couple minutes. Stick this stuff in my uh, ship so I can serve my exosuit storage. 
This is the distress beacon. It contains the planetary chart. Okay, let's go ahead and take that. Toxic protection. I'll pop back in the ship. Let my hazard protection charge up. Now you open up your inventory, and you'll find the planetary chart right here. You press X to plot the route. And it should give us the coordinates to a location of a hermetic seal. Hopefully it's not too far away. Thanks again now to all my subscribers for all your continued support. And if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And if you don't, that's fine. Don't worry. I'm not going to come and probe you. But you will miss out on a ton of great content and some alien insight. Space Traveler, signing out. For now. Anyway.